Right, art comes in so many different styles, from clay to painting to woodwork. But one studio is here to tell us you're never too old to pick up a new hobby or try a new art form. So joining me now is Leanne Filkin, the owner of Paint Your Hearts Out. How are you, Leanne? Doing fine. Thank you for having me. So glad to have you here. Um, I want you to tell me a little bit ab about Paint Your Hearts Out first. Well, Paint Your Hearts Out, we are a, uh, an art studio in Concord, um, and we do a little bit of everything. We've got um, canvas painting. We have uh, clay, pottery wheel um, Glass fusion and um, shattered glass, mini glass blowing, a little bit of everything. Do you love it? Do you have people of all age ranges coming in? Because I think it seems like a really like not so scary, low stress way to dabble in a few things and see what you might like. Yes, I've had um, painters in as young as three and as ah. old as 98 coming in to paint and just get their paint on, just have a good time, enjoy their family and friends, and, and make something fun and make memories. Yeah, so you mentioned glass fusion. That's what we're seeing mm -hmm. on the screen, and this is what you're gonna show us a little bit about today. Yes. What do you mean when you say glass fusion? So glass fusion, we offer um, about once a month a class where I have you come in, I teach you how to make a super cute trivet, mm. um, which is on a clear glass, maybe that helps. Yeah, yeah, we can see it. Um, and then you can also get it where it's slumped into a, a bowl or dish. Oh, cool. Um, you can make ornaments, night, um, night lights, all kinds of fun things with it. Um, and what we do is we cut pieces of glass, glue them to a glass base. Which, okay. Um, so there's my glass base. We cut different pieces of glass, put them into a design. This is what one looks like after it's all been glued together before I have fired it. Okay. And then once it's fired, it comes out. Um, if we do want it in, slumped into a dish to make it into a dish form, it goes into the kiln twice. Okay. So once to fuse it all together to make it one piece of glass where it's all smooth, and the second time forms it into the shape. So I have to ask you, so this is like super abstract to me right, right yes. now. So this going to this to then to this. Yes. It's, it's really hard for my brain to compute how that <laughs> becomes these beautiful flowers. Yes. So walk me through how you get your brain to understand how these pieces of glass will mold into those flowers. Um, a lot of it is, so number one, I have lots of templates in the studio. Right. So if somebody who comes in and doesn't know exactly what they want to do, we go through pictures and say, what speaks to you? Yeah. You know, what do you like? And then I show them how to do that to my, and my staff and I do. So we'll go through and um, you just take the different pieces of glass and, and cut them or break them into little shapes of, um, of leaves, of flowers. Put them several together will make a, a petal like this one. That's where that's three small pieces of glass hmm. put together. So um, I think it's interesting because you almost have to give it a little space in between for when it gets yes. hot, it spreads, it spreads out a little out. bit. It does, yes. <gasps> I think that's so interesting. So when you cut the glass, how do you cut the glass? So a couple tools that you have to have, and there's I've got several of them laid out here. Um, this is a glass um, scoring tool. Um, so that did the pistol this. grip. Yes, that, did that this. does these these score lines here. Okay. Once it, and you push it in, it does engage the um, the pistol grip. Yep. Um, cutter part down. Uh huh. Ah, kind I of hear see. it. Yep. And then you have the running pliers that you line up, there's a line right here on the running pliers, you line that up onto the glass uh -huh. and hold both pieces <gasps> and it cuts. How brilliant! There's also the nippers um, that can make, and I'm not gonna do that right now because it can go everywhere, but whenever you clip that, I usually put it into like a bucket and um, these little small shards that are made. That creates those yes. tiny baby ones. Exactly. I think it's so cool. I could learn more about this all day long. Unfortunately, we have limited time. Yes. So what I'm gonna do for folks at home is um, put all the information up so they can come see you sure. and learn how to do it. So there's the website, Instagram, Facebook as well. Do you have, um, you have like, all kinds of class schedules, right? Yes. So they should go to the website to yes. see the schedules. Go to the website. We've got something. There's a fun day Friday. We do a different medium every Friday. Ooh. We also have kids classes on Tuesdays and thir uh, Wednesdays. Awesome. Um, Thursdays. Lots of options for mm -hmm. you. So thank Lots. you for coming to see us, Leanne. Thank we you appreciate so much. it. Well done. Cheryl, thank over you. to you. Very cool. Kristen, yeah. thank you.